All right, so this is part two of this. So what I was doing was, was putting his arteries back in there, but I do not think it will go in there. So I'm just gonna have to remove that. Just throw that into the pile as well. Force that bone back into there. that stuff back in there I'm gonna pull the skin over I'm gonna get I would normally have sewn it up but I don't know I forgot the sewing stuff so again I'm having to use silk or hair's hair pull down that bone a bit more there Pull that over it. I'm so coordinated at this. Alright, now that he has a stump. I'm loosening that tourniquet. The quickest um Amputation took 30 seconds. Alright. So, I'm gonna take this. This is full of bandages. I'm just gonna wrap it around there. Just to tie off the bandages, pull that over the stump there. There we go. Now he's going to be shipped off to a major hospital. These amputations were done in rows, but now whiskey was used, but not for the pain during the operation it was used afterwards so now that my patient's waking up some of that yeah that is uncle jack's whiskey right there all right now that is a civil war amputation right there these are most tools that were used Whiskey, ether, ether comb, tenaculum, tourniquet, bandages, and suture material. And if it weren't for the men and women who both worked in these full hospitals, this the soldiers wouldn't be alive to share their side of the story and history as we know it would have never happened. That is all in my Civil War amputation kit, if you want to get one last look at it. Yep, and this is what we removed here. Um, that's it. This is the 7th Kentucky uh, Infantry signing off.